This is why I train in martial arts. And they would send me home. And I remember one doctor just saying, you know, go for walks. It's, you're fine. It's all in your mind. And I was like, you know, I've done martial arts for a lot of my life. I'm an extremely active person. I'm not faking this. I, I can't move. I, it, it felt like nothing helping me. I couldn't do anything. Do anything. This, this went on for, on and on and off for nine months, months, but mostly on. It was pretty much better. Where the kicks at? Where the pain? Where the holes? Where the throws? You know what I'm saying? It's easier because I'm going to learn these recipes and I can teach them and they don't have to go through that learning curve. So I thought it was a good trade-off, but I'm just so grateful that my kids were not damaged in any way. They're like Landon's a scholar. He just won the athlete of the year award at his university and Liam as well. Like they're, they're doing good. Thank God. So I think other moms though, if the kids are really young, yeah, watch very closely for symptoms. I don't believe kids should be on a vegan diet. I think they need to be building, not cleansing. And I think vegan foods are cleansing. So that's my stand. And I'm, I'm not here to tell anyone what to do. Um, the lady in the video that I quoted is named Shakaya. She's doing an interview on SV3RIGE's channel. I don't know how you say that. But I was really surprised that I found a martial artist who's vegan when I'm looking at veganism because I was not really thinking about anything with martial arts, but then I come across a martial artist. It makes me think that my opinion about martial artists going to the doctor is true, and that is I think martial artists tend to go to the doctor more so than other people, probably because when I first started going to the doctor regularly, I saw a lot of people there. I was like, I know I know these people from somewhere. It's people I've seen on some of the open circuits. If you're going to be a martial artist, you got to take care of your health and you got to go to the doctor. Now, that's no guarantee that you're going to be immortal and live forever and nothing ever bad is going to happen to you. Anything like that. And your martial arts practice is not going to be a way that you're going to cheat death. But I do think that the more meditative and in tune that you are with your body, it's going to peak your awareness about stuff that could be wrong. Okay. If you're actively practicing, because it, really, if you're doing it right, if you're act actively doing your art, that means when you're going through your forms or you're going through some of your, your roles or some of your patterns, I don't know, let's say if something's wrong with your foot, ow, you're going to, you're going to, ow, you're going to feel your foot. So you're going to have to go, wait a minute. Now I want to do this activity that I like a lot and I got to adjust for my foot. So how do I adjust for my foot? So you'll figure out ways that you can do that physically to adjust for your foot. And eventually you might go, you know what? Let me go to the doctor and see if the doctor can give me something to help with my foot. In Shakaya's case, she's saying she's done martial arts most of her life. I believe her. I have no reason not to. But, you know, I think the martial arts quest probably led her to a quest for health, which is what led her to a quest for veganism. And then when the veganism wasn't working, she probably started questioning why she was doing this. And that reminds me of the Bruce Lee journey, which is also the Joe Rogan journey too. That they started off with something for a while. Hmm, I've been doing this thing for a while. It's not working for me. It's not giving me the results I want. Why? Let me ask questions. Let me ask questions. So, someone can do that in their martial practice. If they develop that aptitude in their martial practice, I think they'll carry that over into the rest of their lives. I know I have, in terms of my day job, as a software tester. Ask questions. You do research about stuff. You know, you don't always think that you have the answer. You try to find out how something's supposed to go, and then you plan and sometimes your plan doesn't work the way that you expect it to, and then that's an issue. And you do have a lot of martial artists, too. I think some of these people who question a lot of other styles are probably people who are engineers and or from an IT background. You know, they want to do quality control. They want to say, you know, does this style work? Does this type of approach work? You know, they either do it through competition or through interaction with each other, that type of thing. But my point is... If you're a martial artist, you probably are also into health. 
wellness, fitness, nutrition. Because let's face it, we are what we eat. So if we want to be more powerful practitioners, you know, we got to watch what we eat. Even though not all of us can or ever will look like Bruce Lee with a shirt off. I tend to notice a lot of martial artists, if they can't look like Bruce Lee, they still tend to not drink a lot. They still tend to watch what they eat. They still do the best that they can. Are they perfect? No. Some people, some people really like Michael J. White. If you listen to him on his channel, he's somebody that's he's really got like his for he's got nutrition down for him. He's got his body down for him. Okay. His approach may not work for everyone, but he's I still watch him because he's got something down for him. And he's also somebody that's motivated me to motivated me to go. I need to find something that's gonna work for me, like whatever he's doing is working for him. Okay, but he's not the only one. So check out her video. Check out Sakaya's video interview. And I don't know if she's got her own channel or not. I'm not sure. But I think she also said she had a blog that was called Vegan Mom or something like that. Check out her videos. Check out this video that I'm going to link to where she's talking about how her foray into veganism didn't work for her. and She ultimately had to break from it. Doesn't that remind you of the story of how a lot of people, they start off with something in a martial arts style. For some reason, it doesn't work for them. And then eventually, they, they still have some of the stuff that they learn from their style. But they take it and build it into something else that ultimately works for them. And two people who come to mind for me, of course, are General Choi, coming from Shotokan Karate. And uh, Jigoro Kano, Dr. Well, Dr. Kano Jigoro, coming from Jiu Jitsu to create Judo. So check out that other video. And thanks for watching this video. And like, comment, and subscribe. And please share this pe with people who like to talk, talk, talk about the martial arts and who are just, you know, into being as healthy as they can. And peace.